All right, what's up, everybody? What's up? So, Chris has left a note for me at my desk. It says, come see me in the shop. I know usually when there's little notes on my desk like that, and then there's a car sitting on top of it, that usually means there's something special waiting for us in the shop. So, what do you think we're doing? We're going over to the shop to see what is over there. You know, we always get really interesting trade-ins, just stuff comes in sometimes. And how do we get really cool trades, right? Well, we gotta sell really cool cars. So that's really the way to get the unique vehicles on trade. So, y'all ready to see what we're about to show you? Oh man, Chris has got something special to show you. Let's go ahead and talk about it and take a look at it right now. All right, there's that big, beautiful, Grand Sport Buick, but look, oh wow, oh my. I mean, it looks just like the car that was sitting on my oh, desk. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? Traded <laughs> I just traded in. On the 16. Yes, look at this. Now, what do you what do you got going on right now, Chris? I was just checking fluids. All right, how's, how's the fluids, how's this one looking? The car's fine, the guy serviced it at Nissan. So it's been serviced at Nissan. Yeah, wow. Was, so you didn't realize we traded this car in? No, I didn't know. Y'all y'all were here late the other night ago. I left to go have dinner with the family. And uh, yeah, this is what this is what they're trading in at like 7.30 at night. 8 o'clock. You're all eating dinner, I'm working. That's right. That's how it goes usually, you know? Like, yeah. so, 09 with 92,000 miles on it. Man, this is sweet. It's just a nice car. Wow. Silver with black. I'm going to airbrush. The only service work I got to do this car. Uh huh. Um, I'm gonna airbrush the color back on all these spots that always scrape off. Yeah. The same thing around the uh, around the um, AV unit, you know, for your display. Okay. Just a little bit right there. Right. Um, that's really that's really it. Oh, it looks great. The body shop the next day or two. Yeah. There's some nicks and chips down here. Okay. I don't care for that too much. On the front down there. Yeah. yeah. I'll be able to get some color on there as well. Okay. The whole car. Um, Full front end? Yeah. Clear broad. Clear broad. Oh, this is clear broad. Yeah. So somebody cared for the car. Yeah, he took care of this car. Yeah. So I almost feel like this is from the 16. Now, you you always seem to do the bell housings on most GTRs when you get them. I think about all of them, really. What, yeah. is, what about this one? This car is as quiet as the one we just sold. Okay. Um, the customer has had the car serviced at Nissan, so it may have very well been done under the Goodwill warranty a long time ago. He may have had extended warranty. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. He's never heard a noise. Um, I showed him a video about it, saying, hey, these are what the, the noise they make, did yours make before he traded it in. Right. He goes, no, I've never heard that noise. So this one's quiet. This one's very quiet. Now, it's got a few upgrades, it looks like, under the hood. You got some Cobb stuff here. What do we got going on? Uh, Cobb air intake. Okay. Uh, I've got the Cobb tuner as well. Nice. Uh, the, it's got an X-pipe. Uh, the originals do come with the car. Uh -huh. They're in a box over there. Uh, and blow-off valve, wastegate. Now, a couple, couple, very, very mild. Nothing. You don't think he beat on the car or anything like that? This wasn't no, like a, a Ricky this, Racer type car. Yeah, this this guy took care of his car. He was a driver. Right. He took care of his car though. I mean, still a Nissan at the end of the day. Yeah, they're they're built to last. Yeah, they're good cars. Right. Well, you know, I want you to take us for a ride. Yeah, we'll go for a quick ride. It's gonna, like I said, it's going to the shop tomorrow morning. Right. We'll be gone for a couple of days. I just wanted some folks to see what we got. This is you sweet. Know, you know I love the GTRs. Oh yeah. You know. Hands down, probably one of your favorite cars mm -hmm. other than a Corvette. One of my favorite, that's still my favorite car right there. Oh, oh that's right, let's not forget about the Viper. Gen 1, that's my favorite car. Okay, so Chris's favorite car, one day we're gonna do, I don't know, look, look at this. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. I worked on this this weekend, look at this. Oh wow, look at the interior. You came in on the little video. I do, yeah, but yeah. wow, look at the seats. 50,000 miles. <laughs> This is clean. Cold air. Now how, dries yeah, perfect. dries perfect. Yeah. Cold AC. That's the good. paint looks flawless on it. Yeah. Do good. that one more time, yeah. That sounds nice. This is one of the few that haven't blown up. <laughs> yeah. Right, they had some electrical problems back in the day. Well, um, oil drip, I think it was oil or gas fuel would uh -huh. drip onto the um, exhaust. Starting to fire back there. Now, I was reading online, this is one of the first mid-engine American vehicles. They had a test car many, many years ago in the 40s and 50s. A lot of folks don't know that. 
but this is America's first mid-engine. Wow. Not rear engine, because rear engine was your Corvair as well. Yeah. Um, mid-engine, mid mm -hmm. two-seat sports car. Then yeah. you have power steering, it's just rack and pinion. Yeah. Um, one of the designers left, one of John DeLorean's protégés helped design and create this car. A lot of, I see a lot of DeLorean in this car, actually. You know, I have a DeLorean. Right. You know, mid-engine. Mm-hmm. Your power steering, basics inside. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I do see it. You're right. Yeah. It's kind of a, probably a little more reliable. I don't know. My DeLorean was a good car. Yeah. You know, but it's uh, it's like the ZR1. I knew when I got it. Uh -huh. I wanted to have one. But I just wound up not driving it very much. You know? Right. Yeah, you know, that car there. We, we drove that car the other night. Oh, you did. In fact, in fact, the um, video should be coming up shortly, right? Yeah, it's, it's ready. Okay. Yeah, we finished editing it today. So stay tuned for that, guys and girls. Yeah. I thought you get a kick out of we have the model in the office. Yeah. We traded it in. And I figured I'd surprise you because <laughs> I'm always telling you what's coming in before it's right. in or yep. what we're going to get. So. Yep. But let's go for a quick drive. Let's do it. All right. All right. Stay with us, guys. So 2009 model, mm -hmm. uh, 93,389 miles. There you go, so 93,000 on it. You know, we got over 50 grand for my black uh -huh. 10 model with over 100,000 miles on it. Yeah. Before COVID. Right. That's doing pretty good, yeah. Value. It held their value well over the years. Right. I think in 2022, a new car comes out. I kind of, uh -huh. I don't own one personally and driving one at the time. I really don't keep up with, you know, what's happening with them. Um, I still have a few years out for the R34. I'm excited about that. Okay, so the new R34 is coming out. Man, all no, kinds of exciting. Okay, tell us, what now? Once the R34 has been 25 years, it's legal to come over to America. Oh, Remember okay. I had one of the first R32s when it yes. came out? I actually had two of them. Right, the black one and the silver one. Right, the silver one. I bought two of them. I bought the black one and the silver one within probably a week of each other from the same dealer mm -hmm. in um, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, the, uh, I, wasn't, I had an idea. I had drawn out a scheme for each car when I was wanted to do. I knew when I bought them, I bought them right from Mendel's Garage, but if uh, I wasn't sure what scheme I wanted, I, I, the car I had was like a dark, dark mocha. It wasn't gunmetal. It was a dark mocha. Yeah. Beautiful car. Um, you, you've seen it. Yeah. The, uh, but anyways, in a silver, I had an idea for like some, uh, like a calisthenic skyline from the 80s and 90s graphic scheme on that car. Right. And um, so I never, um, the car I decided to keep was the black car and the silver car wound up the silver car wound up going you got it there you go there you go the silver car wound up going to world beach actually i traded for an uh -huh. audi s4 for that car it's got they all handle well oh it does yeah yeah and look that was actually in comfort mode uh -huh. and traction in our mode <laughs> so this is the first time i've driven this car yeah i let randy drive it home but he'd rather a grandpa so Right. Yeah, he does. You know, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna hurt my car. Yeah, we're at 60, 70. Yeah, this car is very comfortable. So yeah, and you always looks that bump yeah. you're hearing is the the road we're on. Right. Bump, bump. Hold up, hold up. You're getting another one. Bump. Yeah. So yeah, if you ever been to Charleston, riding over 526 bridges, this, this is what we got. Yeah. It's just, it's just a solid car. Very, right. I'm very pleased. There's no warning lights, no check engine lights. You can check all your pressures and stuff, your trans stuff, your trans oil pressure, trans oil temp. So, right. Like I said, folks, this area right here is getting ready to get airbrushed. I may even pop this section off and just pull the screen off. If I can pull the cover off, I will. This will look very nice when complete. Um, a lot of GTRs that are for sale, a lot of folks don't take that time. This car is going to be right when I sell it. Right. You put a lot of time and effort into getting them. How I would want them. Right. Yeah, because there's a thing. It's 
not new, but it's going to be new to you. That's true. You know? Yeah. I mean, people, you hear people say that, or, well, it's a used car, what do you expect? I mean, you expect me to make the best I'm going to make it, uh -huh. the best it can be with what I have to work with. Right. You know, so, but little things, I have no problem going throughout that. It's not about the money. Right. It's, it's about enjoying the car and the relationship after the fact. You make people have come back and bought cars from us that have bought cars like this. A lot of Corvettes. Buy a Corvette, have it for a year and a half, go, oh, my back's hurting, I need something different mm -hmm. or, you know, or uh, I need a, 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 I want another specialty car you have, Chris, what do you have? Um, this maybe not as rough for my back. Or, that's probably, probably generalizing people have bad back. <laughs> right. But right. no, it's a relationship, but, yeah. What I was getting at, though, is, yeah, people come back all the time and say, hey, I've had this for two years. Nine times out of ten, those cars come back pretty darn close to how they left me. Mm -hmm. You know, they've taken care of. I've also seen them often. You know, people yeah. stop by and it's the weekend. You know, we're working, but they're out cruising in their Corvette on a Saturday. Right. You know, or they swing by on Sunday when I'm in their tinkering on the shop. Yeah, hang out a little bit, hang say what's up. Bit, yeah. yeah, that's. I think that's nice. Um, the the Air Force guy today. From, he's from Alabama. Right. He said when he was back home this past weekend, he stopped by a store. Kind of reminded me, our store reminded him of the store in his town. Right. He just, you know, his family buys for those folks out there, and right. uh, yeah, it just has that hometown feel. Go, you know, shoot the shoot the crap a little bit. Yeah. And uh, and also, Did you say shoot the crap or shoot the shoot the crap, shoot the crap. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, and at the same time, when you're ready to get a car, you know, or you might have something there, right? Those those guys and girls are going to be able to get it for you and do what you want to do. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I always like riding through this area right here. Um, it's always busy, especially this time of day. Uh, this is what the Park Circle kind of Park Circle atmosphere, Montague. Yeah, it's really just fun little area to cruise cars through and uh, I just live down this way now. Yeah, it's such a nice little part of town. There's a Raptor. There's a Raptor. I saw a T-Rex at the auction. Uh-huh. I didn't bid on it. Yeah. I didn't really have an idea for it. I mean, I figured it for about 90 grand. And, mm -hmm. they, and they and actually, they weren't sure whose sure who's car it was when it was stocked in. So it just went on through. And yeah. And go back through again. Um, but probably look for a T-Rex coming from us. Oh, boy. So I'm not going to lie. I, I, I did not even pay attention to the fact that T-Rex uh -huh. is a play on Raptor. That's right. Yeah. They didn't even, never even thought about it. <laughs> didn't even, until I was walking around with my buddy from CarMax, we were out uh -huh. there walking around and I, talking about the truck and I was like, uh, did you get in it and all and, and check it out a little nah, bit? I wasn't going to buy it so I didn't want to step uh -huh. up into it for any reason. But I was like, T-Rex. T-Rex. And I said, this is kind of like the Raptor set up and all of a sudden it, it dawned on me. Yeah. You know, I was like, oops. And I, <laughs> and I call myself a car guy. Well, a lot of times, yeah, you the trucks, you, we don't have as many mean, trucks. Yeah, I don't right. Because yeah, mm -hmm. so many dealers around town sell trucks. Yeah, I'm going to just send you to go to McElveen. They got trucks. Go to True Auto. Right. You know, got my friends at Quality Plus. They got trucks. You know what? You know. Right. They don't carry a lot of stuff like this. They don't carry stuff like we carry. Right. Yeah, go there for that. Right. And we'll keep a Tacoma or two once in a while. Oh, yeah. We love a good Toyota. Yeah, we'll a Tacoma. And we love some Jeep Wranglers. They're fun. Yeah. Wranglers are fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. You want you, you want like thirty? Go to Rogers. They got thirty. Oh yeah. He probably got fifty in stock. Uh, yeah, Rogers, Wranglers. They got a bunch of Jeeps. Yep. He's, he's big in the Jeep scene. That's right. So good people over there. Yep, they sure are. Man, this thing's smooth. I mean, it, it really is. is. And even with the slight exhaust, I guess, that with the crossover pipe. Right. Um, the X pipe. It's really not a. Uh, it's not too loud. It's yeah, not obnoxious it's not, sounding. Yeah. It's not loud at all. Right, it's not loud. It doesn't even sound yeah. that much different than factory. You wouldn't have to worry about a police officer, you know, hearing you if you roll out a little bit. Maybe a little bit, though. He's got to still catch you. <laughs> yeah, they got to catch you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> These are good parts. Yeah. You know what's funny is they have launch control, and I've never, ever launch control a car. Uh-uh. Never, ever. Really? Yeah. It's tonight the night to try. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd rather just drive the car like it's right. power shifter. But the uh, well, I mean, launch control. What is? I mean, what do you put it in that for, though? I mean, because you want to really just 
you put it pulls the revs up, it locks the torque converter or something. Uh -huh. Your turbo's spooling up, things like that. And then you let go, it just unleashes. It just go okay. Yeah. I, I think that's more like no, a, and a racing be, thing. I no. might be a, yeah, I might be a hair wrong of the sequence, but yeah, that's the idea. Right. This is a nice driving car with no warning lights. Right. No check engine, like traction lights, none of that stuff. Nothing at all. Yeah, it's super clean. And again, everybody, this is a fresh trade-in. Just came in within the last uh, few days. Or not even, gosh, it ain't even that long. 24 really. hours? 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, 24 hours. That's it. And it's here. So it's available. It will be at the shop for uh, for a little bit, getting these little touch-up things fixed yeah. and stuff like that. But, it'll um, probably be back on. It'll probably be back on. Yeah. Probably back on. Um, yeah. And there's Wednesday, a truck. Maybe Thursday. Right. So if one of y'all are watching and you're interested... Goodness, not even pushing it. I mean, it just yeah, it, but it goes. So, yeah. They yeah. actually don't get that bad of gas mileage either. Uh huh. Gas mileage isn't that bad. Feels good. Yeah, the weather's great. Yeah, it just wants to go. Yeah. Daily driver for somebody. My black one. Yeah. I drive it, put five thousand miles in a month to auctions. Right. Remember when COVID happened? I, you know, I started scrambling as to where else to buy cars. So, you know, I started traveling. Travel. You know, a lot of auctions are closed. So I was traveling what, Georgia, Florida. I drove the black one for a lot. I think I bought that car with eighty-five or ninety on it and drove it for seven or eight months. And. Um, that was my take it to the road car. Yeah, you can get them, go off to the auctions. Yeah, yeah. It's comfortable. I like the cruise control, my legs that comfortably. I had some, right. you know, I had the um, um, XM satellite radio, yeah. I think I had XM. Uh, the, remember, this is like a week ago. Oh, look at this, man. Wow. you go everybody yeah you got to see something new that we just got and as i always tell everybody y'all y'all need to continue liking us on facebook subscribe to the youtube channel i don't channel. like you well you just work yeah, for me i don't, I don't. Yeah, he doesn't like me on facebook but <laughs> i but, like our fan page i like the page yeah because then you can actually see these videos when they're coming out i know a lot of y'all a lot of times we boost stuff so it, it actually gets out there to you but if, you, if you're watching a video right now that's that's landed on your page somehow please go ahead and hit the the, uh, the like button there yeah if you were lucky enough for it to land on your page <laughs> yeah if you got stuck watching this crap <laughs> yeah and uh wow yeah. sorry about that it's nice yeah. they want to land on your page yeah you know you see two guys cruising around in a gtr you know you gotta check it out so thank you for doing that but um and check out our live streams we've been just this doing car? you don't even know i don't even know what the price of this car is going to be i want to say maybe 50 grand maybe 50 maybe maybe okay if i get it down a little bit i will but right i was thinking 49 to uh -huh. like 49 to 50 grand that's a pretty uh pretty a, good deal there for yeah. what you're getting yeah yeah i mean i think it would I think when Randy and I were doing numbers the other night, we were trading it in. Uh -huh. And around 50 grand, it would be one of the cheaper ones in the country. Uh -huh. um, there are cheaper ones, but you know, ones that are cheaper probably obviously have more miles and or uh, 
or bad that they title knew it or, or no, oh, okay. they have a, you know, a bad title or I mean, who knows, you know, but um, how much was the 16 that we had? 76.9 I think it was okay, 76.9 I might be off. I might be off by a thousand. Right, body car. style really isn't too much different. No, the wheel the down in sixteen, what, 12, 11, 12, 13, They changed the wheels. And, right. I seen a little bit of difference on the bottom of the bumpers and stuff. Right. A few things were different. Yeah. Right. Headlights so a little bit. The same. Yeah. There's not nothing drastic. Right. Um, personally, this is me personally. I like the earlier cars. They don't look as luxurious. They don't have. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like these wheels. I like the fact that there's. Um, not the slotted portions of the, the rear clips and all, you know, it, it got like little diffusers in the in the bumper. Yeah. Um, I like the more just rugged look. That's just me though, I mean. Right. You know, this is the car I saw as a Hot Wheels car, you know, mm -hmm. 11 years ago, or the concept car, or, you know. But this is this is the original car to come out. You know what I mean? It, I don't like change a whole lot. Yeah, but I'm looking at all kinds of cool yeah, eye like, candy I out like here. Old, I like older cars, I like, you know, original yeah. first gen cars. You know. Yeah, that Jaguar's neat. Not for sale, right? <laughs> no, never gonna be for sale. That's cool though. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that car's never gonna be for sale. That's neat. I got married in a car identical to that. I put that car on my watch list uh -huh. on OBE for two years until the color combo popped up. Uh huh. And I bought it from a dealer in I don't know, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. So. Yeah. It's been in my garage because I was trying to find the factory wheels that my 82 had. That's an 87. Yeah. And you, you know these folks don't care about this crap, right? <laughs> Probably not so much, but it's Anyways, a cool car, though. I got this. I got the correct. I got the original Starfish. Uh huh. Five star wheel. Right. That came on my 82, and I put a battery in that car yesterday. Poured some Marble Mist oil in it. Uh -huh. just to, you know, just to help really lubricate and clean. And um, fired it right up, went around the block in it. Didn't go very fast. Yeah. And um, had it brought here so I can mess around know, with it a little bit, get, get it, it kind of get, get it back, get it on the road. The dry, I wouldn't drive it until it had the correct wheels. It took me a year to find the right wheels. Just the right wheels. Yeah. yeah. Most of those cars get crushed or they're you know. Right. You know, yeah. It's and, a very rare vehicle. Yeah. Not very rare, but, but right. they find the wheel I wanted, the correct wheel. Oh, okay. The wheels. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, what I found? They're like yeah. Above, yeah, that right there. So, yeah. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. loving this blue car here. That isn't it, the building is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. Doesn't our building lights. look a whole lot bigger than it actually is? It is. Yeah. Yeah, but we do got a nice place over here. It's kind of like the yeah. camera. When you put the camera towards me, it looks like I weigh more than I do. <laughs> it's, you know, how many? They say the camera adds 10 pounds. 10 pounds, yeah. Now, you're using an iPhone 21 <laughs> twin turbo thing, right? Right, but it's in a widescreen well, right yeah, now. Yeah, but, but yeah, but see, it's got three cameras on this. So that's probably yeah. actually 30 pounds. <laughs> and that's what's happening. That's what's happening. So, is that little plastic piece still on there? You ever pull the plastic? Oh, no, no, no. It's, no, it's what just, plastic it's, piece? No, it's just a reflection of that. Yeah. So. All right, guys, thanks for watching with us. So, we'll see you very soon everybody thank you thanks you for watching yeah. our crappy video <laughs> thanks later